actually default controls are the uh, the rarity now. Like in today, they're the more of like, what the heck's wrong with you? Okay. One fox. One random. Okay. Two fox. Oh, he stole his color? Oh no, they switch sides. They switch sides now. Okay. All right, PK Ooh. Carlitos, Dr. King, the doctor is in. Dr. Keen, uh, Dr. Yeah, Keen, he's the Red Fox now. Just make sure you guys know we're going to be having that ditto. And we're probably going to get a lot of Pokemon PS2, all right? Like, this, this, seems like, this seems like new Fox land. I'm really curious to see how both of these players play this matchup because Fox, his speed gears him towards punishing so much. But when you're facing up against another Fox who can prod at you with neutrals, can dash in and out and find these back airs and opportunities, when do you go for the punish? You know, I, I was going to say, I that is true. Mo everything obviously is negated because it, essentially it's a ditto, a mirror match. However, they also are going to know what they're both looking for, what kills at each certain percent. So it's just going to turn into not a slugfest, but essentially it, it, it's a skill contest. They, there's no certain advantage each fox has against each other. Keen racked up to 108. PK Carlitos throwing on the damage. Nice back air. Dr. King chases across Ooh. the old up smash. Pretty quick, actually. He, he caught him off. He up. caught him off a jump. I, you know, I, Fox's up smash for obviously one of the best in the game, but that was quick. He caught him on a jump. I don't know if that helped boost to kill him early. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Punches him right back with the same move. Like, 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 I got one of those too, buddy. <laughs> Uh, one thing I like to see, I, I do like seeing, is they're, they're, these foxes are using dare a lot more, which uh, in every game, the drill is essentially, it can always lead into something else. However, they're kind of doing it a bit unsafe and it's getting shielded, and they're both getting punished for it. But I do like their uh, attempt of uh, drill. There's a little bit of mix up the neutral. The, the hit stun is definitely a valuable commodity if you can find those opportunities to get a dash attack or something afterwards. Dr. King goes in for the grab, misses that. Nice down smash by TK Carlitos. Dodge. Illusion goes across. Yeah, he dodges the illusion there. Uh, one thing, though, that uh, that each fox is doing incorrectly is that they are... Ooh. Oh, he yeah, should make it back, yeah. I, they're do oh, he down smash? Uh, okay, he got, he got pineapple. But that one. one thing I was saying they were doing incorrectly is so they're getting dash attacks, but they're not reading the DI or their launch correctly, so they're not following up, and so essentially each fox is landing for free and then punishing the other fox. So it's, it, it's a bit sloppy, but I mean, right now, uh, PK Carlitos is taking advantage of, uh, I guess, the spaghetti on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta for everybody. There's the dash attack, Dr. King going in. There's the upgrade to follow up. Got to even up these stocks. 112% definitely has enough damage to be able to do it. Nice interrupt on the illusion. Ooh. Gets back on stage, establishes the, establishes the control, but PK Carlitos finds his way back to center. Yeah, see, he's just coming back for free. And then one thing PK Carlito did uh, was very smart. He got caught off on illusion, but since he got hit again, he's allowed to illusion again. So people were like, oh, how did he do that again? Essentially, he shine stalled, and once he gets jabbed once, uh, or a heavy hit, is like a laser won't give him his shine back. But uh, not his shine, his uh, illusion. So he's like, you know what, I can just do it again for free. Dr. King definitely understanding the situation. Has to get the second stock, but doesn't want to throw free percentage PK Carlitos away. You find the opportunity. You yeah. pounce on it. He is a fox after all. Nice up air. Second stock to Yeah, he's Okay, right now, he, I don't want to say he's got to kind of wait back, but he is down a lot right here. Maybe he can get something going. He's got to really, he has no true combo against Fox because Fox is in the air is frame three. But he's just not, oh, uh, okay. He only got the what, the last hit of it. This could be it? All right. I, I'm just saying he's not following up on any, he's not getting any strings is what I wanted to say. Yeah, and then low percentages, you see a bunch of up tilts, a bunch of up airs with the fast fall afterwards. We haven't really seen that in this matchup. Nice shield, turns to the jab combination. PK Carlitos looking to put the final nail in the coffin of game number one. Dr. Keen says not so fast, it's a dash attack. That's exactly not what I was talking follow about. follow up afterwards, yeah. like I said. All right, double fair here. Okay, obviously DKR is down. Proponent for any back air or up smash. Any smash would kill him right now. Oh, man. See, the PK Carlitos is letting, letting him land, has the read, and then he's, like, just reacting a little too late. Like, you see that dash tag, he already shield, and... Okay, I thought he would get the two frame. No kill throws from Fox, so we'll be fine here. But, yep. See? See, he waits, like... He's just, like, waiting, like, a point of... 0.2 seconds, like, too long just to get that finish punish. I feel like there are some Fox mains out there, like, that's the easiest up smash of my life. Nice. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Okay. All right, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> He's like, all right, man. Three times, is the ch third time's the charm. All right, because the illusion twice, he just shielded. I, I mean, a lot of opportunities happened right there. Like, Dr. Keen really brought it back. It's just PK Carlitos kind of like, I guess maybe he's a little bit nervous, like, being on stream, because he had, like, 
he could have ended it at least th three or four times, you know? I think there were a number of instances where both players definitely had some options left on the table that just never really got picked up. Uh, we're pointing out the illusionist towards the end of that game, but like you said, not following up on the DI, not trying to get combinations off of the punishes. Uh, we saw a couple of exchanges like, oh, we're both shield, now I'm jabbing. Yeah. Like, just some exchanges you don't necessarily see all the time in high, at a high level Foxes. Yeah, it was blow for blow, but essentially, no, not essentially, what actually happened was just, ooh. ooh, we're getting the nest. Uh, and with the FD counter pick, a little, I, you know, I, I don't know, I, I thought maybe he would like platforms, but however, I guess he doesn't want Fox to ladder combo. Yeah. But, uh, or essentially, you know, platform extend his combo. So we're, let's see how this goes out. We didn't know Dr. Keen has a, uh, has a nest, not unless he was trying out his Fox. Not gonna lie, man, I feel a little uh, short changed here. You got someone named PK Carlitos. Oh. And he's not the one playing this. I can't believe you pointed that out. I'm, I'm a little hurt now, too. And then he goes Wolf not playing. Like, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. No, no, it's, it, it, trust me, man, I feel that way. When, when I, when it's like when you have to fight someone, his name is like Super Mario 32, and then he plays like Ganon, and I'm like, there's no Mario or Mario character there. But, all right, right now, this counter pick working out. More than double his percent. Definitely Ooh, he seems to be more his speed. Oh, the double gimp, the remix. Yeah, that was great. He caught him with the tail, fought him, like, and then he hit him with the heavy hit, which unfortunately, I don't think PK Carlos <laughs> was, re was ready. And um, he wasn't ready, and so it actually hit him towards stage from where he hit him. But, I mean, Dr. Keen really uh, really showed us that the counter pick is, uh, he knew, he knew. Breaking out the shield from this also kind of dis disrupts some of his momentum. That alone says to me Dr. Keen has a much better understanding of this character. Then the Fox, we very well could be on our way to talking about game number three. These dash attacks, the PK fires, doesn't run up the grab and punish off after that, uh, off the, after it connected, but uh, no, one, doing pretty well. So. Going back, uh, the up smash actually would have killed. He hit him with the end side of it. Uh, I'm talking about for Fox, which was unfortunate. Nice parry to down smash there. Um, the other, oh, oh, no jump. Unfortunate. And he, he didn't take too much percent from that, which was nice. But one thing you were saying is that Ness is spacing a lot better this game versus Fox, where he just throw dangerous aerials out and get punished for it. Here, Ness is like, you know what, let me wait for my opportunity. I'm going to come in, throw in some specials, and then, you know, attack when I see an opening. It almost feels to me like Dr. King does a bunch of practicing online. Like, after getting that PK fire and running up and going for the forward air, but kind of overshooting it a bit, oh. it feels to me like, it's like I'm used to these inputs having slightly different timing. Whenever I play a bunch of online play and switch over to offline, it's just like the muscle memory. It does take some time to adjust. Dr. King, Dr. King, Rather. Still in the lead, but PK Carlitos, he's starting to pick it up. Yeah, you know, the other thing, uh, right now, oh. ooh, that was risky, but you know what? I'll he's going for the okie doke. Yep. Oh, going to get him again? Okay, the Nair able to trade off, but he took way too much damage off there. Yeah, I think he only had like 38 coming to that dash attack. Nice mix-up get up. Wow. He must have, the only way he must have been dying there was he was holding right, because I like, he went straight up, so he was DIing in, and anytime you're going straight up, for anyone who wants to live longer, you don't want to DI in, because when you're DIing in towards the stage of your character, you're going to be sent higher. Ooh. There you Speaking go. of being sent high, up smash is going to put Dr. King down to his last stock, only 21% off of this combination. PK Carlitos takes the lead in overall damage. Dr. King starting to slip. Yeah, you know, it first lead of the game, but you're oh. right. Oh, this could be it. Forward smash? The oh, he does, he does up smash. If he, he could have tippered back there and could have killed him, because it didn't look like he was really SDIing it. Uh, are you looking for a back throw? Okay, back in the middle of the stage, this is actually the one place where Ness doesn't want to be, because back throw will not kill. Up to? Ooh! Oh. Uh, all right, Nair. He, he kind of just missed off on that. Oh my gosh, man. Like, it, 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 it's kind of. Okay, Nair up smash, I'm pretty sure will kill. Ooh. This should be it. Oh no, he lost stage control too. He is able to get okay. back onto the stage, just a forward air. PK Carlitos kind of let Dr. King off, King off the hook. Oh, he, I think he could have get it up tilt, but he went, for, he, went, he went for the hard read and went for a back air there, which I respect. I mean, you would have thought he air dodged and he would have caught him completely, but. Ooh. Ooh. Net, that net, yeah. 58%. PK Thunder's a problem. Everything's a problem. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. He just, just. Made that ledge. Like, he didn't get a hold of that ledge. That would have been mighty oh, awkward. PK fire Up and throw. big head mode. I, I mean, he was at 200, but you know, I, I, he didn't go for the Nest Classic. Nest Classic. You know? I, I guess he's like, he's put like the exclamation point on it. Yeah, he wanted to mix up. Okay, I, obviously, he's also praying and thinking that he literally, literally just got the ledge right there. Like, if that was literally 
he, he was one footstep, one walk step net to the right, he's dead there. That was a few, that's the, the few pixels difference between calculated and you done goofed. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll give him the calculated <laughs> card here. All right, even though Never I'm Never worried. I'm, okay, look, look, we're seeing another pivot here. Ooh, okay, this is a... Uh, oh, okay. Potential. Yeah, I was going to say, the Shulk is a hard oh. counter. Uh, Mario still wins this matchup overall. Right. However, I was going to say, Shulk has, like, a huge, like, a minus two, like, advantage against... Like, Ness is minus two, or Shulk is plus two. You know what I mean? Like, I'm saying it wrong, but low-key, my... I don't like this Mario attack. The only reason why is... The, the, the head's weird, you know? I just can't get... I, the up smash does not feel the same without my brim. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him with the dare. Okay. Yeah, the, the more I see this Mario skin, the more I like it. He's in here literally doing work. It's the combination. 61% racked up. Wow. Keen. That that put a PK Thunder on the ground. Cheeky. That fireball actually clanked with the tail box. So it just, you know, he ate it. But he really thought the fireball was going to hit. It was like the very end of the tail coming out of Ness's hat. Unfortunate, but I mean, what, 8% is not going to kill him. I'm keeping a sharp eye on how, how much the fireball sees usage over the course of game number three. Because when we when he moved the Mario, I'm like, okay, what's the main justification? Sure, there's a lot of PK fires coming out. The Fox has to shine to reflect those back. The fireball is a hit stun, can interrupt what Ness is doing, as opposed to Fox. His laser still allows Ness to do whatever he wants to do as far as pressing buttons. Maybe PK Carlito find, thinks that he'll find success in the form of disruption of the fireball, but we actually haven't seen it that much, so I'd be really curious to see what the, I, the I, idea is. To be honest, the more I'm looking at the, like the way he's played this first stock, is he's using Mario more for anti-air than he did Fox because Fox is up there. Obviously, yes, it does a combo and does string into each other. However, the frame data between Mar I think Mario's uh, up air is somewhere between like five to eight frames. So he's using that a lot more in this matchup to counter him, and it's really working out. Like he actually has not been co uh, throw combo at all from that. Might kill? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, perfect di top left. Jukes the PK Thunder finds his way back on the stage. Nice. Electric nice. Boogaloo goes for the down smash boogie. Uh, yeah, you know. Shout out to Mario DDR there. Uh, one thing I was going to say was, oh, wow. Caught him. Yeah, he, you know what he, he's trying to do while he's up there? He's trying to nair the PK Thunder rather than dodge it or avoid it, which obviously is not working out for him. Like I was going to say, he's been trying to fall with nair from a very full hop, and he doesn't realize like the nair hitbox is over, even though he's still in that animation at the very end from there. So. It can be really tricky to deal with that because your timing of the air dodge has to be pretty much perfect or else the back end, the, the tail part of the PK Thunder is going to connect. That's true, but you know, you know, it's not too risky when you're that high up. Like, obviously when you're lower, the tail is more of like it in instantaneously drops you and you're like, oh no, I need to, I lost my jump and or this. When he's all the way up there, there's, there's no risk of getting hit from that tail. You're already at 130, you're already at kill percent. Yeah, the air is thinner up there for sure. <laughs> Sliding attack just misses, 108%. Forward throw? He's looking Head for bang move. Okay, nice. This, I think that was like his first usage of Flood. However, it wasn't fully charged, so it didn't really disrupt Ness's recovery. Uh, Ness getting a little early on that back throw. But, okay, see, the like I said, the tail when you're a higher up, it, it, it's not going to do much. Oh, we see one for the old Smash 4 Classic. However, that would not work. <gasps> The Ness neutral air is really paying off for Dr. Keen. I mean, time and time again, you see the doctor say, like, end your turn. Like, yeah. you're done in neutral. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ness's nair is frames three to five, so it is a combo breaker, uh, like Luigi's, Mario's, everyone usually with a sex kick, which it doesn't seem like uh, PK Carlos is really, like, adapting to it. Like, he doesn't respect Ness's nair, and he's been hit by it, I think, seven out of eight times, at least. All right, and that's around 86%, which you don't want to be hit by something that's con just coming out as a defensive option all the time. It requires a massive adjustment in your space, and you almost have to have your trajectory on the way out already as the hitbox connects. If not, you're going to be up close. You're going to find out what the neutral air looks like. That's just missed the PK fire follow-up. Yeah, that was a cute kind of get out. He parried and then immediately upbeat and hit the top of the platform. One thing, though, like I said, like remember where I was talking about Ness's there? Double up air, no follow. -up. Ooh! He's like, you know what, uh, Slam City. But what I was going to say before is uh, PK Carlitos is like 0 for 5 on there, while Dr. Keen is like 6 for 7, which is, you know, low-key. Those are things that you wouldn't think that matters, but that trade-off damage, that non-follow-up combo, is really, you know, it, it's showing right now at the very end of the game. Chip damage is a really big problem. Shield pretty low. Back there, he's not going to charge kill. back up. Back here. Almost gets the job done. PK Thunder manages to avoid that. PK, PK Carlitos. 
Oops. back on the stage, goes for the up B, has a lot of work to do if he wants to take game three. Ooh, okay, he, I like that. That was a really smart air dodge to ledge. Didn't use any of his jumps, oh. immediately wanted to recover. <gasps> oh, dude, I thought that was going to be staled up because he just, he did it, but I realized he, he unstaled it. Because his stale moves is similar to Smash 4, where he's a list of 10, and if your moves refresh. I'm like, okay, he hit him twice with jab. I know he got hit by PK Thunder. And, I mean, that's his back throw is the highest bet knockback back throw in the game. So I'm just a little surprised that that killed from middle of the stage.